Hey guys, my name is Phyllis Vance, and today I'm going to be introducing to you the cutest new members of the Quali Pops family, George and Michelle. These are probably the only kids I'll ever have because I don't want kids, and also I'm not very responsible. I love the way this turned out, so let's get started. Now to create this cake, I am using an adjustable cake pan. It's silicone, you link a whole bunch of strips together. Look at that, link it like this, and you make a loop too. <gasps> and this is the walls of your cake, so you can make basically any shape. Any cake design you want, you can make it with this. This is definitely one of my baking staples, so let's get to the cake decorating. So I baked an oval shaped cake and the reason I baked an oval shaped cake is because it's gonna be the blanket that covers the body. That way I actually don't have to carve any features. Just the head, no legs, no limbs, no belly button, no hands, nothing. I'm just gonna cover everything in a blanket. I decided to make two babies so that I could test out how many layers of cake I would need for this. So for the chocolate cake I created, I sliced out three equal layers. But as you can see the top, the top layer is only about two thirds of a layer because I'm using a dome cake to create the head and I'm gonna fit the head right there. Ooh, now we got some buttercream in the middle and I'm using regular vanilla buttercream as well as some leftover cream cheese buttercream because yo, I know it's gonna taste good. Cream cheese buttercream is just, it's like better in every situation, I think. Now I'm adding my third layer, but because I was carving a lot, it ended up being really thin. So two layers is probably just good enough. Now I have to crumb coat my entire cake. Now to create baby Michelle, I'm doing the exact same thing, but I decided to use Funfetti cake. Those are like the only two types of cake I make, chocolate or Funfetti. You looking for some red velvet, you need to go somewhere else. I mostly just focus on the cake decorating ideas and so I use box cakes. Now for this cake, instead of doing three layers, I'm doing two. And so the second layer, I cut out two thirds of it so I can fit in the face later on. And for the icing, again, I'm using vanilla buttercream and then on the inside, I'm using some cream cheese. Now I'm gonna give my entire second cake a crumb coat. Then I'm gonna start to work on the head. Now to create George, I'm using all chocolate cake and I'm using a dome cake. Now you can leave your face cake completely round, but I didn't want to, so I'm flattening out the top of it just a little bit. And then I cut out the bottom so it's not a complete circle. George looks like a very happy boy. I feel like he would be a chocolate eating boy, so that's why I made him chocolate on the inside. Now Michelle doesn't like chocolate at all, she loves funfetti. And on the inside she's made of funfetti. I think it was better to use funfetti as opposed to chocolate because you can see more of the detail that I'm creating when it comes to the face and the body. The chocolate, it's so dark that it gets lost. It's probably because I put so much chocolate syrup. <laughs> That's why this chocolate cake is so dark. But with Michelle you can totally see all of the detail I'm creating when I'm flattening it out and how much of the bottom of the circle I took out to create her face. Now to create George, I'm covering him with some skin tone fondant to begin with. And because of the design of this cake, I only have to cover the face. You probably have noticed this already, I don't use a knife to create the edges. I just push the fondant underneath the cake with some fondant tools. Then I started adding some fondant pieces to create his features. Very simple, very minimalist. This is a kawaii cake, so there aren't a lot of features. Just two basic black eyes with catch lights and a happy mouth. Oh, how happy that is. I did give him a really cute nose and one hair. That's all he gets, just one. Some babies have a full head of hair, just like Michelle, but George, he only was born with one hair. 
I did add a little bit of detail in his eyes, just a little bit of blue. I thought that'd be really cute. Oh, this baby boy looks so happy. Now to create Michelle, I'm using another piece of skin tone fondant. I'm just repeating that process, working it down the sides of my cake and then cutting away the excess by pushing it underneath the cake with some fondant tools. Do you guys do this? I, I know a lot of people just cut away the fondant, but instead of the straight edges, you kind of get rounded edges. And so the whole cake looks more realistic because it's not just flat on the cake board. That's what I love about that. We're adding the same details, two eyes, a very happy smile. Look at that. No teeth because she's a newborn. How terrible would that be if newborns all had a full grill? I gave her a pretty little nose and two catch lights and I wanted her to be like really, really cute. So that's why I gave her some eyelashes. Adorable, right? Michelle and George are very different. She was born with a full head of hair. So I'm adding black fondant to just to give her some really nice cute curls. Believe it or not, when she was born, she was already wearing <laughs> a bow. <laughs> it's true. She was born with a bow. Guys, don't question the doctors, don't question anybody. She was born with a bow. <laughs> and I decided to give her a little bit of highlights with some green eyes. Both of these cakes are gonna go through the exact same process and we're just gonna cover the bodies with what looks like a baby blanket. So I place George on top. Look at that. Oh my God, we made a baby, you guys. Well, not literally, but kind of. So I put George's head and then first thing I'm gonna do is wrap a long piece of blue fondant to cover his head. Isn't that adorable? Huh? Oh God. I'm, I'm having a good time just watching the footage of this. It looks cute. This is cute. So we wrap that, we cut away the excess. I'm adding a little bit of skin tone fondant to be like his chest area cause he got a little bit peeking through. And then I added the left side of my baby blanket. Simple, simple, simple. No creating any features. You're just looking like it's a newborn wrapped in a baby blanket. Now we put on the right. See that? You got a little bit of the skin peeking through, but then the rest of it's just covered. You know, just wrap them tightly. That's what they like, right? That's what babies like because it feels like they're back in the womb. That's all the baby knowledge I have and that's all the baby knowledge I wanna know. Baby George is done. Let's move on to Michelle. So we're gonna add on Michelle's face and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Um, but this time we're using pink fondant. First wrapping a long strip around her hair, pushing it down, pushing it down, look at that. Oh my God. This is such an adorable idea. I can't believe I thought of this. Yes. You having a baby shower party? You need this cake. Now we got the little chest piece. And then we're gonna start to wrap the sides with pink fondant. Look at that. This is adorable. Michelle. You're looking cute. Who's your mama? Oh, you look just like your mama, I bet you. And voila, baby Michelle and baby George are complete. I am in love with this idea. These need to be actual dolls because this is way too cute to just be a cake. The expression on their faces, the glow in their eyes, the little hair on George and the big poof on Michelle. It's just gorgeous. I love the way that these cakes turn out. And I'm curious, do you know anybody who needs this cake in their life? Send them this video. I, I feel like everybody needs this cake in their life. How much, if you were a cake decorator and somebody asked you to make this cake, how much would you charge? If somebody asked me to make it, I would say, no. <laughs> ask somebody else, ask an actual baker. These cakes were inspired by George Bush and Michelle Obama's friendship. I think 
The way that they interact with each other is everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!